Hello everyone, today we're talking about medicine for a messy home. Now there is medicine and there is medicine. Some things we think of as magic bullets, like if you are unwell and you have an infection and you take an antibiotic, it can help clear that up pretty quickly. But you wouldn't want to take an antibiotic all the time because it would destroy your body's natural defenses. So it wouldn't be good in the long run. And there are magic pills for getting your house clean. I made a video last week called Chaos, um, where is it? Crisis Cleaning. Yep, Chaos Crisis Cleaning. And that is like an antibiotic for your home. It's a little mini pill that will help fix it temporarily, but it's not for the long term. So as with your body, we do with our house. So when our body is not in its best shape, we work really hard. We exercise it, we feed it well, we hydrate it, we give it enough rest. Those things will make our body come back to health um, in most cases. And so for your home to bring it to a beautiful state of organized, um, streamlined, happy place to live, clean, um, then you're going to do the Fly Lady system, which is not a magic bullet. It's a quick, it's it's easy on a daily basis to do the little steps. I'm not asking you to, for example, exercise your body all day long. You're only exercising for a little part of your day. And the same with this. When you're cleaning your home, you're only doing it for a little part of your day. But in the long run, your home is going to be in much better shape. And you mentally will be in better shape for doing it. So there's no magic bullet, there's no, I say it all the time, there's no Samantha twink, 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 to come in and make it pretty. It's not gonna happen. So what you're going to do is the three layer cake. I talk about it all the time. It's the three steps to the Fly Lady system. It took me a while myself to figure out how that worked. It was a little um, confusing to me to see what I had to do. And when I figured out it's like a three layer cake, you have to do your routines, that's the base layer, and then you have to do your zones, that's the middle layer. You top it off with your basic weekly plan. And then the icing on the cake is things like clutter check, okay? So let's get going and do these three things. These three things are going to improve the health of your home. You're going to find that your home is more streamlined, more organized, cleaner, easier to live in, easier to find things, more peaceful. You personally are gonna feel more in control, more um, kind, because when you get enough sleep, if you're following your, your routines, you're gonna get enough sleep. It's like part of the health part. You're gonna have enough sleep. You're gonna make sure you have three meals on the table, or three meals maybe not on the table, but three meals. You're going to make sure that you are getting exercise that you're doing all the things you plan in in your day. Now, exercise is not one of those three layers of the three-layer cake, but there is free time that's built in that gives you the opportunity to do those things like exercise, um, have fun with friends, things that are good for your mind and your body. So let's start today doing our routines. If you're just starting, please watch how to do the Fly Lady System for newbies. Takes about an hour, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil and you're gonna to need to stop that video from time to time and take notes. And it is the way that I teach the Fly Lady system as a Fly Lady myself. So um, you're going to do that and you're going to step in. So you're gonna start, maybe you're, you're really overwhelmed and you can't do all three things. Maybe you're not a top baking chef yet. You can't make a three layer cake. Well, can you make a one layer cake? I think you can. And that is your basic routines. So that's going to be the bottom layer of your cake, your medicine cake. Your middle layer will happen a little later. Maybe it's going to take you a few days before you can start doing your zone. Maybe a week, maybe two. Everybody's different. But when you start your zones, you don't drop your zone, you don't drop your routines. So it's routines, zones, basic weekly plan. Now, when you're watching that video, how to do the Fly Lady system for newbies, I teach basic weekly plan is step two, only because you really do need to do that before you do your zones when you're starting, because there are things in there like buy groceries, pay your bills, that are in that basic weekly plan. So if you're just gonna do it in baby steps, then you're just gonna do routines, then basic weekly plan. When you add zone, you're gonna bump 
the basic weekly plan up to the top layer. You're going to put zones in the middle. And the reason I have you do zones before basic weekly plan when you're doing all three layers is because you need to stay in motion. So a body in motion stays in motion, a body at rest stays in rest. Some of our basic weekly plan requires us to sit or to go out and ride in the car. It's really hard when we've been out riding around in the car or sitting and paying bills to stand up and get back into action. So I always do the action layer as the second layer. So it's routines, zone, basic weekly plan, okay? This is the medicine that's going to get your house well, right? Right now you have a, maybe you have a sick home. Maybe it's, it's not a good environment for your children to be raised in or for you to live in or for your spouse and you to have a good relationship because it's just um, unproductive and unhealthy. Sometimes people's homes are to the point where it's actually distracting. So depending on what you, where you are, everyone's different and I've seen every single level. I know you can do this and I don't want you to be ashamed of yourself. No ma'am, I don't want you to be ashamed of yourself. I want you to start today taking the medicine for your house or giving your house medicine and that is starting with your zone your routines and then following it with your basic weekly plan if you're not going to do zones yet but if you're doing zones then zones then basic weekly plan let's see what that is real quick the routines are the morning routine the laundry routine the paper routine the clutter check routine the after dinner routine and the before bed routine your children have a before bed routine and an after and a morning routine. They have two routines too, and they can help with some of these other routines. Like there's also one, if you have little kids who dump toys on the floor, the toy uh, check that happens four days a week. I mean, four days, a, four times a day, oh. <laughs> four times a day. So it sounds like a lot, just like walking across the room, if you actually put it in a description would sound like a lot. First, put both feet on the floor, then lean forward in your chair, then shifting your body weight to your feet. You know, I mean, it, it, you can make anything sound difficult. It's not difficult to get up and walk across the floor if you're an able-bodied person. So it's the same, and if you aren't, you understand what I'm saying. Some of you may be working from a wheelchair and you can still do this, okay? You just do your version of this. But my point is, anything we do, the mechanics of it can be broken down and it looks difficult or sounds complicated but it's not. So when I give you those little routines, that's not hard. Those are easy. You just, the hard part is getting it in your head that you have to do these every day, that it's an important part of your life. Most of them you're gonna do every single day. The morning routine, the before bed routine, the after dinner routine, those are every single, every single day. Clutter checks three times a day, every single day. Toy checks four times a day, every single day. Laundry, five days a week if you're an at-home homemaker, maybe six days a week if you're a payroll homemaker. Um, paper clutter, we're going through it an inch a day, you're going to do that six days a week. Um, I think that's all the routines. And then when we get to zones, we just have one zone a week and we work in that zone for four days a week. The classic program that I'm teaching, which you can edit to fit you, um, you can edit not the number of days, but where the days are. Um, usually on Monday, we do weekly home blessing hour. On Tuesday, it is a free day, so we're not working that day. On Wednesday, it is, um, oops, I'm talking about the basic weekly plan. Sorry, that's the basic weekly plan. The zones are Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because on Tuesday, we have a free day. So we only do our zones four days a week, unless you're a payroll homemaker when you do it either one day a week yourself, depending on how much you work every day and your level of energy when you come home, or on Saturday in one hour, four 15 minute units on Saturday morning. Then the basic weekly plan happens uh, five, six, seven days a week, but really there's only four action days, four action days. So Monday is an action day, that's weekly home blessing hour. Tuesday is a non-action day, it's free day. Wednesday is planning and desk day. That's an action, although a passive action, something to do on a quiet day. Thursday is uh, errand day, which can kind of be passive nowadays because people can deliver your groceries or you can have them put in the trunk of your car. 
and you may or may not have other errands that you need to run, but that's still a sitting, running around kind of thing. You're out of the house, um, or you're in the house and things are being delivered to you. Friday is car and purse day. It's a very little action day and date night, very important. Saturday is family fun day. That's a non-action day in your home. Sunday is renew your spirit. That's a non-action day in your home. Saturday and Sunday for payroll people who aren't home during the week, that's going to be the day that you do on for your uh, weekly home blessing hour. You're going to be able to do that Monday through Friday or Saturday, breaking it up into one 10 minute section per day, or you can run it all together and do it on Saturday. You can also delegate, don't forget. So on Saturday at the max, you would have two hours. Then we've got um, errand day. We can get that done throughout the week. Even if we work away from the home, we can have the groceries delivered or we can pick them up on our way home from work. Um, planning and desk day, I do have you save that for Sundays if you're a payroll homemaker. Sunday afternoons is good. Car and purse can be done on your lunch hour or your break. And the other things happen at home. Family fun day can still happen on Saturday. Renew your spirit is still going to happen on Sunday. Okay, so talking to two different sets of people with two different needs, but you have to listen for yours. If you're an at-home homemaker, then you're doing everything Monday through Friday. If you're a payroll homemaker, you're going to probably do a lot of it on Saturday and some on Sunday afternoon, okay? All right, so I hope that you understand what this medicine is for your home, how it takes time, just like exercise, just like a good diet, just like drinking water, just like getting enough sleep. It takes time to increase and build on itself until your home is to the point where it is spring cleaned all the time, and it will be. You have to trust the process. Thousands and thousands and thousands of women have done this, and it works. It worked for me, and it'll work for you. Always remember, when you're doing this, to be beautiful, because you are beautiful.